Okay, real quick here, let's look at the script we have so far. Go.py, it gives an image of me right there. Uh, and it will always be up in that top left corner. We have a shaped window and when we click on it, it closes our script. So let's uh, first off just move that image someplace else. Um, and I, if you're following this series, I think you know where we're gonna go with this. We'll come down here and we will say uh, after the window is shown, we're gonna say win.move and set a location. We'll say 200 comma 200 for 200 pixels over and 200 pixels down. We'll save that, run it, and you can see now I am further over and further down on the screen. But uh, we kind of want to create something that's going to make the image pop up in a random place on the screen. So we're going to import um, the module random. Great. Okay, now uh, another thing we want to do is um, detect the screen height and width because you don't want to just give a random number because it could be anything and yeah you need to give it a range to go in so what we're going to do for that is we're going to um, create two variables we'll create a variable called w and uh, actually first let's create a variable called screen and this will be our screen object our monitor basically and the way we're going to get that is we're going to say win, which is our window object, and we're going to say um, get screen. So that will be uh, detect the monitor that uh, our window is on. Once again, it depends on how your monitor is set up. Right now I have a twin view set up. So basically I have two monitors, but as far as uh, Xorg is concerned, it's pretty much one monitor. If you did dual monitors um, in... Uh, I forget what they call it when it's set up as separate monitors uh, this will help our script detect what screen we're on but in my case it's just going to take both screens as one but just wanted to give you that in case you come across issues if you have multiple screens but we have screen equals get screen so it's going to grab the screen that our window is on and then what we're going to say is we're going to say um, w for width will be screen dot get width and we will create a variable called h and that will be screen dot get height now in my case since I have twin view for my width I'm going to divide that in half so that uh, otherwise a lot of the time it's going to be going completely off the screen you guys will never see it 50% of the time so if you have a twin view you may want to put that divide too but really it doesn't matter I'm just doing that for this tutorial uh, when I upload the actual script I'll try to remember to remove that so we have our screen width and our screen height height and then uh, what we're going to do is for move instead of 200 what we're going to do is we're going to say random dot rand int for random integer integer and then we gotta give it a range we want between two different numbers we want it to start uh, at zero because that's going to be uh, the top top left of the corner of the screen is zero zero so this will start at zero and so will the next number and we're going to go to a range of and in this case um, uh, let me let me check something before we actually do that sometimes in my head I get okay so it looks like the first number is left and the second number is top that's important when we're doing this so because if you do them backwards then you're if the screens wider than it is high you might your image might be going off the bottom of the screen so back to what we were typing I hit the wrong button here there we go we're gonna say random dot random int for integer and we're going to say 0 comma w and then we're going to do basically the same thing for the second number we are going to say random of course we can delete this 200 dot random integer 
zero, but this time to height. And in doing that, if we typed everything right, there you go. Uh, since I'm not recording the full screen, you can kind of see the top of my head here. Uh, I'll, now I'm way down at the bottom. Let's see if we can get, there we go. Now it's random there. So it is random and it is showing up on the screen. And there it's showing up half on the screen. Now the reason that that one time it showed up half on the screen is because really we should subtract. And right now I'm only seeing the top of my head at the bottom of the screen. Um, not only should we detect the width and height of our screen, we should also calculate in the width and height of our image or our window because when we put in our numbers, our coordinates is for the top left of, of the image or our window. And um, let me bring, try to get it up here on the screen. It keeps showing up out of your view, out of my recording view. Anyway, so we're putting in coordinates, basically would be right here would be uh, our top left and top right. So if we go screen width all the way over to here, our image is going to be off side. So really we should subtract our window width and our window height uh, from those. So let's go ahead and try to do that real quick. We'll say Vim, uh, once again, it's the text editor I'm using. And in here, and really we could create different variables for this, or we can just throw it in up here. We can say height equals the screen height minus win dot get height. And for here, do the same thing. Once again, that divide by two is just because I have dual monitors and I want it to show up on this screen whenever possible. We'll say win get dot width, not wait. Why did I type wait? There we go. So basically we're getting the screen width. Let's just say it's it's a thousand. Um, or we'll say the height's a thousand. Well, once again, if we put the top of the image at a thousand, the image is gonna be off the bottom of the screen and you won't see it. So we need to then subtract the height of our window and pull it back up a little bit. So doing what we just did, of course, I did something wrong. Okay, so uh, yeah, I made a mistake there. Um, our window object doesn't have a get width and get height. It has a get size um, function. So what we need to do here is we'll say right here, we'll say uh, www, comma, wh for window width and window height. And we're going to say equals, and we will say uh, win dot get size. So it, that should take the window size width and height and put it in the width and height. And then down here we should change this, which will actually shorten up this line a little bit, and this line like so. We should subtract those. Um, values from our screen width and screen height. So now, if I run the script, there we go. I'm right there, run it again, run it again. And my image should stay on the screen and it shouldn't go off um, the screen at all, in theory. So far, so good. Right there, it's out of your recording view, but it should be uh, still in the window view. So far, everything's looking good. Okay, so I'll upload that script. Check out the links in the description. And please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Also, if you haven't watched all the videos in this playlist, there should be an annotation for all the videos in this playlist. So uh, I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.